Hey guys, hear me. Jesus is not normal. Jesus is majestic. He is the light. You see, the city has no need for sun or the moon because the lamb is the light. This is Revelation chapter 21 verse 23. Listen. Let us not underestimate what we have come into. Jesus, he is majestic. He's no ordinary thing. Do not try to explain him away in the logic of this world because he exists outside time and space. So you cannot use time and space to calculate his worth, who he is. You cannot dwell within the time and space and think that you know what exists outside time and space. He exists within our time and space and also outside time and space. He is not limited by the hour. He is not limited by space. You are only ordinary mortals. We are. Yet he lives his glorious throne he left his majestic place of abode to come for you and i listen this man jesus is the lion of the tribe of judah have you ever seen anyone who is a lamb and at the same time a lion it can only be one person have you ever seen one who is the source of life? I know of only one. His name is Jesus. Have you ever seen one that when he gives you water, you will never thirst again? I know of one. His name is Jesus. Have you ever seen one who when he touches you, your life touches generations? I know of only one. His name is Jesus. So, if we have come into him and we call him our Savior and our Lord, let us indeed make him the Lord over our lives. Lord, Lordship, total Lordship. In Romans chapter 8, verse 29, the word of God says that for those whom he, God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of God. It's not the other way around. So for those whom God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. It is not for him to be conformed to our image. It is for us to be conformed to the image of his son, Jesus. Let us not drag him to be conformed to us. This is who he is. If you are coming to him, you ought to be ready to be conformed to his image. In this generation, in this time, you're looking for a people who are true lovers of Christ. A people who say, I have come not for any blessing. I have come not for any silver or gold. I have come for you, Jesus. I want you. I want to be more like you. I want to know you. I want to, I want to sit next to you. I want to touch you. I want to feel you. I want to be with you. I want you to lead me. I want you to be the essence of my life. That is it's no longer I that live anymore, but it's a Christ that lives in me that will begin to shine forth. This is what we've been called into. Many of us are doing the other way. We have, we, we have come into Christ, but our old life is still with us. And we are forcing him to be conformed to our image. So we are basically taking scriptures that sound convenient in our eyes. And we're saying that, oh, with God, this is okay. So I am going to be doing this my way. And I will be praying him into this way. Whether he likes it or not, I'll be praying him into this. So it doesn't work like that. Sorry, you'll be praying for a million years. It doesn't work like that. So for seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. It's as simple as that. Let the focus change. Let the perception change. Let the heart be transformed. That your intention 
will be that Lord, I want to conform to you. Teach me, show me, lead me. I want to be under your will only. I want to be under your direction only and nothing else. Beloved, I just want to pray for you today. Father, touch the heart of whoever is watching at this moment. That this heart be conformed to the image of your son. Touch the mind of whoever is watching at this moment. That this man be conformed to the image of his son. I ask for grace for you. And I deposit a desire for God in your heart. That your mind, your heart, your soul and everything will be diverted and focused on Christ Jesus. For this is the will of God concerning our walk with him. No other way but Jesus. And we must walk with him in spirit and in truth. We can't be walking our way and still thinking that he is a part of it. He is not forming a part of your circle. You have to form a part of his circle. A part of what he is doing is what you have to be part of. I thank you, Father, for this life that you have pulled out of the grips of darkness into the totality of your light. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.